and welcome to another episode of AI360, where we try to take last week's happenings in research level AI and summarize them for you in a quick, easily digestible video. It's the 15th of March day. My name is Nihir. Let's get started. First up, we have a new blog post by Yan LeKun and Ishan Mizra on self-supervised learning, and it's titled Self-Supervised Learning, The Dark Matter of Intelligence. In this blog post, they discuss the limitations of supervised learning and how we should be looking to leverage self-supervised techniques to scale AI towards general intelligence. The blog post is quite detailed and it contains an overview of many different self-supervised methods, including Siamese networks, contrastive, met contrastive methods, and non-contrastive methods. Also, with many more, it's definitely a non-exhaustive list. As usual, you can find all the links on our website, which you should be able to find down in the description below. On the topic of self-supervised learning, two new state-of-the-art self-supervised learning libraries have been updated and or released. Um, the first of which is Vissel.ai, which is a first-party Facebook research self-supervised vision library. It's modular and also YAML-based, um, which means that you probably won't be writing any low-level code and aims to accelerate the research cycle in self-supervised learning from designing a new self-supervised task to evaluating learned representations. We also have a community project by Twitter user Keram Turgutlu, and I apologize if I uh, pronounce that wrongly. This is also a self-supervised vision library, which implements popular state-of-the-art self-supervised learning algorithms as fast AI callbacks. Another open source tool which has just been released is SpeechBrain. And SpeechBrain has been designed to speed up research and development around speech technologies and signal processing. From a quick look at their website, it's very modular, easy to use, and well documented. It also has support for many tasks such as speech recognition, speech, speaker recognition, multimodal or multi-microphone signal processing, and many more. They have lots of tutorials in their, on their website, so if you are interested in getting started with speech and or signal processing, I'd highly recommend checking them out. Fourthly, Facebook AI Research introduced the Timesformer. I'm not entirely sure how this is pronounced, but it stands for Time Space Former. Um, that, that's what the capital S is for. And the Timesformer is a convolution free transformer based architecture for video processing tasks. And it sets new benchmarks in the Kinetics 400 and the Kinetics 600 datasets, which are action recognition data sets while being three times faster to train and using one tenth the amount of compute essentially is an extremely high at an extremely high level they do have a blog post which uh, dives into the details in a slightly more abstract representation than the paper but at an even more abstract representation the self-attention mechanism is applied in the in the time domain and the space uh, space domain. So essentially, for a given video frame, which we can break up into subregions or patches, two attention mechanisms will be run. So for for a given patch, we'll be running a, an attention mechanism for that patch all across the time of the video, and another attention mechanism for that given patch across all the patches in the frame for the current frame that we have. Slightly complicated, I know. Read the blog post for more details if you're interested. And at number one, the, the, the latest update, we have some big man talks. We have the deep learning fathers, Joshua Bengio, Jan LeCun, and Jeffrey Hinton, who are giving talks at NVIDIA's GTC conference. And GTC 21 is going to be a free online conference, which is happening between the, the 12th and 16th of April with live sessions all across the world. The keynotes don't even require registration. Um, check, out the, check out the link on our website for, for more information. Great. Um, that's all for us. See you soon. Bye.